Marriage is a job. Yes, it is. Marriage is definitely a job. But love ain't. The marriage, yes. That's the job part. Love ain't a job. Love ain't a, hold on, let, let, let's get to Stacy. Stacy, as I said, some women accept that shit. But don't no woman accept it for long, Stacy. You've never heard of a woman saying, I was in a marriage for 10 years and this motherfucker made me pump the gas. No, she stayed for a year. And then she was like, I'm taking me and my children and we out. Because pumping gas, that pumping gas part is only a symptom of some much deeper shit going on in their relationship. So you never heard of a woman staying in no relationship for 15 years and this motherfucker made her pump the gas. No, 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 no. That don't happen. They be, and I don't care what the woman's esteem level is. She gets the fuck out of that relationship quick. Uh-huh. Uh, they get the fuck out of that relationship. Don't nobody accept that shit for long, Stacy. That's why I said when you see a, a, a man sitting in the car and the woman pumping the gas, either this is a new relationship, right? Or she is on her way out. Either this is a new relationship and this shit just started happening or she is on her way out of this relationship. Not staying in that shit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Tamara. I'm sorry to hear that, Tamara. What up, Cousin Don? So, those little things count. Um, <laughs> my, I... I, I my love language, I guess, <clears throat> uh, 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 Beth, don't you, Beth, don't you never, don't you open no door for no man. Hold on, Beth. No, Beth, you doing too much. Don't you open no door for no man. Uh-uh. Don't you open no door. If you open the door for him and him, he don't say thank you, because hell nah, he ain't gonna say thank you. Don't you, you're not supposed to be opening doors. That's, that's like, that's, that's, that's like, don't do that for him. Don't you open no motherfucking door for him. Don't you do that, Beth. Hell no. Nah. Uh-uh. Don't you open no door for no man. Fuck no. Anyway, it's the small things that make a, a, a relationship work. My love language is getting shit for my wife. <laughs> I'll go get her everything. If she, can you run? Yes, yes, yes. Um, so much so that it wasn't until about, maybe we've been together for 15 years, 13 of them married. And it wasn't until about maybe two or three years ago that I, that I would have lunch. I would be out if I knew, so she works from home. And if I'm out, and I'm about to have lunch, and I'm by myself, I would call her and say, do you need lunch? I'd be all the way across town, some motherfucking way. And I felt so guilty eating by myself <laughs> that I would call her. She'd be like, would you motherfucking eat? I'd be like, but baby, I don't, I don't even feel right. Like I didn't, I wouldn't feel right sitting down and eating without her. The shit just didn't, it just, it just didn't feel right. So I would call her and say, you know, um, should I, uh, uh, I would call her, baby. Do you need lunch? Do you, do you, uh? Would you, would, do you need some lunch, baby? She'd be like, you are 45 minutes away. Go ahead and eat your lunch. It's fine if you eat lunch by yourself. You know what I mean? And for a long time, for the first decade of our marriage, I would not do that. Look at Tammy. And there you go with that bullshit. Talking about whipped. That's silly. Nah, that's me taking care of our relationship. That's me telling. Oh, you wasn't talking to me, was you, Tammy? Or was you saying I'm I'm whipped? Uh uh. Um. Well, if that's the case, then that's the case. But 
Are y'all talking to me? Or talking to each other? Are y'all talking to me? So Tammy Green says I'm whipped, right? So Tammy, let me explain that to you. My love language for her was she and I eat together because my life is so hectic that the time that I could spend was usually at meals. So I felt guilty having a meal without her or having or making sure that she ate, right? Now, Tammy says, that does the, is that whipped everybody? Am I being whipped? Or, Tammy, I saw that as me taking care of our relationship. You know, we want to get to 30, 40 years of marriage. The only way you can get to 40 years of marriage is by taking care of it every day. And if you're going to take care of it every day, you need to take care of it every hour, just like you do your job. You know what I'm saying? Just like your job, your career. If you want a 50-year career, you got to take care of that motherfucker every day, right? Well, I was saying, the way I saw it, if I'm going to stay married, I got to take care of that motherfucker every day, which means at lunchtime, I'm thinking about her. I'm making sure she's straight. At least that's how I saw it. I had to make sure she was straight because ain't she my other half? I mean, tell me where I'm wrong, uh, uh, Tammy, since you done call me whip, Tammy. Uh, no, no, being whipped is a bad thing. Now, being whipped is some bullshit. Whipped is when you a sucker for your wife. When you out here doing punk ass shit. I, I don't think checking up on my wife at lunchtime was some punk ass shit. Now, being whipped is <laughs> not checking her... <laughs> Being whipped is when you don't check her work husband. You understand that? That's being whipped. Uh-huh. <laughs> I got to reverse it. Don't be pussy whipped. You whip that pussy. Bop, 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 bop. You understand? So that was just me. Uh, that was me checking up on her. And my philosophy is marriage has to be taken care of every single day and I am not in a traditional marriage like my grandmother and grandfather had I'm in a modern marriage that me and my wife have my marriage is different than their marriage and my marriage uh, 